Welcome back everybody, Upgrade Guy here. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the player VLC and how to optimize the settings so we get the least amount of buffering possible while we're streaming material online or a direct playback from a USB. If you guys didn't see my other video where I compare VLC to MX Player to MX Player Pro to the internal player that comes on various apps, make sure you check out that video above here so you can see which player I suggest using on an Android box. Like always guys, smash that subscribe button down below. It helps the channel out a ton. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below which player you usually use when streaming apps. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is install VLC on our device. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can go straight to the Google Play Store, click on it, and of course, just type it in at the top and you'll be able to get VLC right away on your device. Probably the easiest way to do it. Um, there is another way, which we're gonna go over right now. So you just click on VLC for Android. You would download and install it and you'd be good to go from there. If you can't get uh, your Google Play Store to work for whatever reason, you can go ahead and click on this link above for how to download file link on your Android box or on your NVIDIA Shield. I have it for both devices and I as well have it for Chromecast too. If you need to figure out how to do it on Chromecast, go ahead and click that link, watch the video, and you'll be able to get it straight from file link as well. Now that we have VLC installed, we can go ahead and open it up and see what settings we can change up in order to improve in performance in terms of buffering and or audio quality issues that you're having when streaming apps using VLC. So we're gonna go ahead and open up VLC. It may ask you, ask you to allow permissions the first time that it opens up. Just go ahead and press allow, perfectly normal. So this is one of the cleaner player apps for sure. MX Player Pro and MX Player is a little jumbled with how they have it set up inside, so the interface, uh, but not a big deal. This is just a little cleaner. So the first two categories you're gonna see here is video and audio. So these would be video and audio files that are on the root of your device or on a USB on your device. So, you, so if you had a movie downloaded and put on a device, it would just show up here in this video section. Same with if you had any audio files or music that you wanted to play off a USB, you can just plug it into your device and then play it right from VLC player here. So it makes it handy and really clean um, the way they have it set up where you can simply just select what you wanna use open it up just like that and you're good to go. Of course, then it has a history section. So this is actually a game file here. It's not actually a video file. It's a little weird that it shows it as one, but it's just a game file. Um, so then of course you can browse around as well too. So if you're looking for um, certain movies that you have on your USB, you may have to click internal memory or local network uh, in order to find that. Uh, and then of course, now we finally have the settings section, which is where we're gonna be able to look through and change various settings um, in order to improve our performance. Let's go ahead and open up settings. From here, these two first two sections, media library and video, you don't really have to worry about except for hardware acceleration. If you're having major buffering issues, click on hardware acceleration and either change it to decoding acceleration or full acceleration. And if either of them are improving the performance, I would just go back and change it to automatic again. So check out these two and see if either of them are gonna improve your streaming performance when using VLC player. So now we can click back. There's playback history, I wouldn't worry about that. Interface, you really don't have to worry about unless there's something that bothers you on the player. So if you don't want it to show um, certain things while you're streaming, like video thumbnail or video playlist mode, um, come here and just check them off, but I wouldn't really worry about changing, changing any of those anyways. Uh, and then of course we have the video section. So this is where you can change specific issues uh, while playing the video. So example, fast seek, so it'll speed up how fast you're re rewinding or fast forwarding pretty much, um, but it'll be less accurate to how close you wanna get it to the part that you were at basically. Um, a lot of these settings aren't gonna improve your performance overall, but they're more just little settings to um, pick things that bother you, right? So for example, I have audio boost um, checked, which means the volume can go up higher. Uh, that's good if the video copy is a little bit quiet and your volume can't support it. So I would check that off, nothing wrong with doing it. Let's go back and check out the last few settings. Okay, so the next category we're gonna check out is subtitles. 
So, you know, if you do use subtitles for whatever reason, some people really like them, or if you need subtitles in order to watch a movie just due, due to hearing issues, um, then I would suggest going into here. And you're easily able to change the size of the subtitle, or you can change the boldness or the color. So this is really great, especially if you're colorblind or have other issues. This is such a nice feature they have that they have this built-in um, subtitle section where you can actually customize the subtitles to what you like. I don't know if MX Player had that. Um, I can't say for sure, but this is definitely one of the better features I think I've seen in a player. So this might be one of the bigger reasons you go to VLC compared to MX Player because you can do this customization um, with the subtitles and change the color, the font size, the boldness, um, the background to them. So there's a lot you can do here. So definitely um, here you can check some stuff out. Let's go into audio and there's just a few settings in audio such as save playback speed, which you don't really have to worry about. The only thing you might do is the digital audio output. So depending on what your audio setup is to your device, uh, that might be one you have to change or your audio output in general. Um, so other than that, there's really nothing else you have to do in here. Um, and the last section we're gonna check out is advanced. So advanced does have some settings that will actually really improve your performance or it can anyways. Um, so definitely go into here and watch this last portion of the video. So network caching value. So this is how long uh, the media is going to buffer in, in seconds uh, until it starts to play again, basically. Um, so you could change this to up to, so for every thousand milliseconds, it's a second. So if I put the value as 10,000 here, that's 10 seconds, right? Um, so, so you can test some things out, but it does say that it might be best to leave it blank. Um, so up to you whether you want to try that out or not and see if that helps you at all. Uh, the next thing down here that might help you uh, is the frame skipping. So this will lower the video quality, but could speed up the decoding of the video. Now this, of course, obviously just by what I just said, can greatly improve your performance because although it's a lower video quality, it still might be good enough where you're like, this is good and I don't get buffering, so well worth it. Um, so that might be something you want to check out as well. And there's two settings up here that you could try out different things, such as the blocking filter settings. Uh, and you might want to try out no to blocking and see how that improves it. But I haven't tested it out myself. Um, so give it a try, test out different ones and see which is working for you, of course. Um, other than that, there's not really anything else that I would suggest changing in here. So that should be pretty much it for this video. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video on tutorials on how to optimize settings in different apps, just comment down below what app you'd like me to do or what kind of settings you'd like me to do a video of. And I would love to do that for you. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And, and don't forget to subscribe down below. Once again, it helps the channel out a ton. Thank you, guys. And I will see you in the next video.